pet is one of a kind, so why not create a one of a kind portrait that you can treasure forever? Pet portraits by New Mexico artist Rhett Lynch capture your, the personality of your favorite companion, and he joins us this morning. Good morning. This is a big deal. Yeah. Good Thank morning. you for having me, and I'm really excited to be here. And right. it is a big deal. You know, it, it, a it lot is. of folks out there they love their pets just as they treat them like they're their own. They're their kids. Totally. They're part of the family. They're family. And I want to mention to our viewers that you're Navajo, and you've actually done this for 30 years, actually over 30. 30 years really you've been in this right absolutely and what you do is you basically create mixed media paintings which is what Kristen's mm -hmm. referring to influenced by your native culture and so I want to know what inspires your work nature inspires me okay. nature continually is in a constant state of creation and evolution mm -hmm. uh -huh. and I try to emulate that in my in my life and in my artwork yeah and it's it's apparent in your artwork as well and we actually have samples oh, of some of the contemporary pieces which are so beautiful so we want to take a look at those of course we've got some on our set and as well that we're going to show you on the screen some beautiful contemporary pieces mm -hmm. is that is that what you mainly focus on is contemporary absolutely okay yeah mm -hmm. absolutely now tell us oh, what we're wow. looking at uh, these are pieces that um, I'm most known for the uh, the, the dog portraits. I where I um, the dog has always been my favorite, you know, um, subject matter. I've done a whole mm -hmm. lot of things, but I, that's always been the thread that goes through and weaves everything together. Wow. And uh, these are some of my recent pieces here. Well, you know what I really love about it is the fact that they are so different. Mm -hmm. It's not like it's the a, a photographic picture of your pet. You're actually right, right. putting in some of your own flair. It's different, but yet you can still get the personality and, and where the owner can actually pick so out cool. the personality of their pet. Absolutely. And that's really the inspiration is the personality of the pet. Mm -hmm. You know, one of the things I do is that I, I literally and it may sound corny, but I look into the pet's eyes oh, no, and, find, and find that essence of, of the pet. Mm -hmm. And then that's what takes me forward. And it translates right there in your painting. Do you have to spend time? So if somebody said, I really want a portrait of my pet, do you have to sit and spend time? I mean, obviously, you look in their eyes, but do you have to spend a significant amount of, of time with them? Uh, not necessarily. A lot okay. of times I have people who will be in different parts of the world. Mm -hmm. And so, but I do spend a lot of time looking at their photographs. And okay. I spend a lot of time mm -hmm. studying that and finding that mm -hmm. essence. And then as long as I follow that essence, Mm -hmm. And I stay behind that. I I'm, I can never get lost. And we have some video right there of, of oh, you yes. doing this some of your work. That's amazing and to watch. I have a question for you. You know, some people get stage shy. And do pets ever get nervous? Now, what do you do if they get nervous? Or do you try to, like, get their playful <laughs> character, their personality to come out? Or <laughs> you know, how do you I'm, deal with that? I've been really fortunate in that. I've always been, a, I grew up yeah. around in a very rural area. And I've been around lots of animals. Mm -hmm. And so somehow I've been very fortunate in that hopefully that's what they pick up on mm. uh -huh. but I have occasionally have you know had that you know a, you know that one shy <laughs> you just one. see the fear in the eyes you know, you and, <laughs> and, uh, and so but it it they they will come around once the mm -hmm. moment that they realize that there's trust there yeah they you know they open up and then they show themselves well you're obviously really good with animals too so I'm sure that helps and I, I love watching the process as we're sitting here watching it. I, I just love to see the process of an artist and and we actually have the end results of three of your pet portraits oh, and we want to we want to show those because because really, that's what everybody gets to see. We don't usually get to see the process. We get to see the end results. And let's take a look. Oh my oh, gosh! Wow. Oh, I love it. Tell us what we're looking at, Rhett. Uh, these are. This is a couple of pets that um, oh. have actually the, the people have have several of my pieces, and they are. Uh, this is Lily and Jenny, and oh. they. The woman sent me the photograph and said, right. you know, this is. We would like. She wanted this for a. a a portrait for a gift. Okay. And so oh, I added the precious. headdresses because they they had this look where they seemed like they just had this kind of humor about <laughs> yes, them. Yes, right. I and totally so see I that. so I added that, and it just came off beautifully. That's and amazing. I, I was really excited about it. Is the the lab the head hotter there to see? Absolutely. <laughs> yes, oh my yeah. gosh! Look at yeah, this that's one. the alpha. <gasps> <laughs> Look at the first of all the smile you captured you captured the essence with that smile for sure. Oh, this is a dog named Anthony, and actually Anthony is is in New Zealand, and really? the I, so this was a you know a long distance thing, oh and so God. I actually used this painting as a as a sample an exhibit I did, and not five minutes into the the exhibit I hear this woman saying Anthony Anthony in this really shrill voice she had come to the states right. and unknowingly showed up and she saw her painting. No. So, so, you know, so it was really wonderful, you know, to, to meet her and to... to <laughs>
Wow. That's yeah. amazing. I love that story. Now, yeah. this is just beautiful work. And, and yeah. another good part of this whole thing is that half of the proceeds are donated to the Veterinary yeah. Care for Medical Emergencies Fund. That's uh, a mouthful, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> so, can you tell us more about that and how the, the pet project transpired? Well, sometimes the darkest moments offer the brightest light. Mm -hmm. And That's a nice way to uh, put it. about two years ago, we were in the process of losing one of our pets. Mm -hmm. And while at the vet, uh, we experienced some people who weren't able to, they were having to make difficult decisions sure. because they didn't have the funds to do what they needed to do. Mm -hmm. So about a week later, after, you know, the grief kind of started going subsiding, I couldn't shake that moment. And so I thought, you know, I can do something. Oh, and uh, so that began the process of, of having this fund That's and wonderful. making it available for, for people. Well, how can That's our fair. viewers actually commission a pet portrait for themselves? The easiest way is to go to my website, okay. redlunch.com, and send us a letter okay. and an email. Send us an email of their, of their uh, there you go, of their uh, pet. Mm -hmm. And I'll do a sketch, and when they approve that, I'll start the process. As I'm working along, I post uh, images on the website so they can follow the process. And we get to the completion and... Real quick, average cost. Average this. cost is really, there's a large gamut. Okay. Uh, the, the most expensive one I did was actually, a, I did a, a horse, which was to scale. Wow. And so that was, yeah, that, that would was, be a pretty penny. That was store. way up there. <laughs> but um, we, they usually begin around the $900, $800 range. Okay. Right now, I have an incentive for those who have seen the program. If an introductory offer you're doing, Introductory right? offer. Okay. So if they mention, you know, New Mexico style. Yes. And then I will, I will send them uh, a special introductory offer <laughs> to make it even more affordable for them. And Great. our viewers can also make a donation to the pet project, correct? Absolutely. On the website, there's a way to that they can do that. And That's if they great. have a special place that they would like for it to go, they can request that. Perfect. Rhett, thank you so much. Thank Thanks for you. sharing thank your you creativity so and for all that you're doing for the pets and the people. Right. And of course, <laughs> we'll have more information for you on our website, casa.com. So you'll definitely want to check that out. Now, still ahead, Village Inn is serving turkey and all the trends. Yeah. Stick around for this. Yeah, don't go away, Rhett. This is good.